Um, good evening, everybody. It's more Monday. So more Monday. I was lying down resting and had to get up to post this because it's too much to type. Okay. This morning, I received a screenshot from someone um, about a teacher's posting, which I thought was very inappropriate. I really did. Um, and we've said before that when you teachers post things, inappropriate things about your students, we're going to call you out. So be mindful of that. It's not an army against teachers, but I kept looking at the picture, kept saying, dang, she kind of sort of looks familiar, but don't know. KPW, what she calls herself. I think this is Miss Kenya Weary over at Davis Elementary. She posted this morning. And today is Monday, March 30th, 2015. She took she took it down. That's what she said. But she said, it's some nasty mammas and pappies out here that's sending these children back to these schools after a week off and they coming back up in here smelling like a septic tank with the same filthy uniforms on that left here, they left here with 10 days ago. It makes no sense. But y'all at the Scarface Ball cleaned in a mug. Man, I'm about to start commenting under these pics of y'all trifling asses in the club and calling your old unfit to have children asses out. These babies are your responsibility. Ugh. Well, since I made a post uh, about this being uncut, unprofessional, low down, and uncompassionate to go on social media and talk about children smelling like septic tanks. Now, surely, as a teacher, you would know if, if a child's odor is that bad, go to the guidance counselor or social worker. You would know that. But, Miss Weary, we know you don't know too much because I kept looking at that picture and I said, dang, seems like I know her. It really does. You must use that gorilla snot on your edges and smooth them down, made you look kind of different. But, uh... I knew I, I knew your face. And, and and reading this, reading this, it is just like the kids say. And it's not only the kids, you know that we know in common. Because I got inboxes from other people who saying that they took their children out of Davis because of you, Miss Weary. So since your reply is, wow, Ms. Jones, you know you are known as a fact checker, and please believe I'm finna check you in a few minutes. Hold up. I am sure that's the reason that someone sent this screenshot to you. If you had investigated further or even asked me, you would have found out that this post was in reference to a disagreement that I had with someone that I know in reference to their, you put it in capital letters, child. It was posted before the school day even started. Right after I got off the phone with them. And yeah, I was heated because of their actions. And what I said in that post, I said to them, I am well aware of board policy. Now, we know that's a lie. Uh, Ms. Weir, we know you don't know policy. Girl, girl, if you don't quit lying. As well as what's in the handbook. Girl. As everyone reads and rereads, I am sure you will see that my post made zero reference to anyone that attends any particular school. Let me go back up here. Because you said, let me just tell you what you said. You said they coming back up in here smelling like a septic tank. And that they left here 10 days ago. Not over there or in these schools of MPS. Here. 
referencing the place, a place. You said children. You work in the school. You said, and no, I don't have AEA on standby because I am not a member. That post was made from my personal page. And just as you use your page as sounding board for your frustrations, I do as well. I'm glad, boo-boo. But uh, listen, in your profession, since you, well, we know you don't know anything. But since you want to go about, this is your personal page. It must be public enough for somebody to screenshot it and pass it on. And you said the only reason I removed the post was because a couple of really good friends told me I should and decided to do so after uh, only after arguing my point. Well, if you believe that to be true, you would you you thought your point was good enough, you would have kept it up there. Nobody had to tell you to take it down. What they should have told you that it was tacky as hell and unprofessional. What they should have told you as a teacher, if you feel like you have a problem with one student or many students with an S, like you said, and if a student or more than one student is smelling like a septic tank and you didn't, as a professional, take that child or children to the guidance office, for guidance counseling to see what was the issue, if there's an issue going on. Call their parent. We know you didn't do that. And you're right. Maybe I should report the neglected social services. Well, hell, we've been trying to report the neglect on you and the other ones up there for a long time. And I'm so glad you said that because now I think we will move forward. Because you just opened up the door to prove the point. You all are tit for tat. Retaliate. Harass and bully students. You sit in a classroom, according to students, because you, as a fact checker, <laughs> I ask. So when you go to class in the morning and tell the children, don't tell nobody what I said, too late. As a fact checker, you should have checked yourself this morning. If you had a problem with that parent, that's on that parent and that child. But you said children. And this is not the first day and first time that you sat in a classroom or stood and said that students smell bad. And then when the students tell you that that hurts your feelings, their feelings, you don't care. And we know you don't care because you almost had a child to die. Now let's play that on fact checker. Let's play that for those who think this is a good teacher. This is not a good teacher standing in front of a classroom disparaging children. This is not a good teacher who takes it when she gets heated to a social media to degrade children because she said children that's more than one it wasn't an attack on a child you said children and if you that hot with that parent and some other friends had to tell you to calm down now you the teaching mafia the mob the head gangster Bye, Felicia. Ain't nobody uh, doing this. But what we will not tolerate are teachers disparaging children on social media when you know proper protocol. And yes, there are some parents who don't do what they're supposed to do. But as a professional, as a teacher... Have you done what you're supposed to do? Now, before everybody say, well, you don't know what she did, we know she doesn't from past experience. So when you take my post and run to the meetings with, we're going to take this one. We're going to take this one to show how much care and compassion you have as a teacher. Wow. 
Wow. Now, wow, Miss Jones. The only thing you should have been heated at, heated up at, is you not trying to figure out what's going on with the children. Contacting parents. Let's see if we can work together. The solutions are already in place. You have a problem with hygiene in your class, you go to the guidance counselor so that she can do what? Have a session on hygiene. And if it's a specific child, again, guidance counselor, the social worker. We, I mean, I give free uniforms. The social worker department of Montgomery Public School System, that's who you work for. They give free vouchers. You wasn't that frustrated because you check, you, you're trying to check them about the Scarface party. Unfit parent. You're an unfit ass teacher. I said it. And you're not worthy of the certificate that you hold that somebody needs to pull. I hope Miss Campbell sees this. I hope the Board of Education sees this. I hope many people see it. And check you. It is a disgrace to talk about children. Children should be off limits. If you're not trying to help the child or children, regardless if you upset with the mammies and pappies, as you say, children don't have anything uh, to do with their living arrangements and conditions. Most of our children are homeless. And they do have assistance for homeless children and their parents. But you got to know that. You got to know that. Unless this is just your occupation, just to go and teach and then go home and not do anything else. But we know teaching, is it covers a vast array of job duties. That's a true teacher. You're not true to the game. You need to hand your certificate in and go do something else. Maybe be a blogger. That what you like to do? Pitiful. Disgraceful. Montgomery County has hit the federal poverty level where all children in Montgomery County receive free breakfast and free lunch. And plus, that's a Title I school. That means they're on, in, in the poverty, poverty level. Testing in so well over there. Now blog about that. And I can go on and on. Because when I kept looking, and God knows I didn't know who you were on that picture this morning, KPW. I kept looking. Hmm. If you had investigated further or even asked me, hmm, I just don't have friends who walk around calling them sales K K A Y P P E E W D U B Y A H. Mm -mm. We grown. We call each other by first and last name. Okay. And you're right. Maybe I should report the neglected social services. Thanks for the idea. You don't need to get cute with me. Because you are hurting yourself. Because before you contact DHR, now, be mindful. Retaliation that you're doing. Because if you had any care and compassion... You wouldn't have waited to somebody screenshot what you posted and then took down. You would have called social services before you went to posting that some child or children smell like a septic tank. That's awful to say. That's disgraceful. And you are the Bama of the week.